Greetings, my name is Slight, and this is a Gunfire Reborn Crown Prince Guide. This is what I call a level one guide, meaning that it will be the most accessible of three tiers of the same playstyle. I'm going to be making two more videos on this playstyle in two upcoming videos. As we go up in the levels, the challenge gets higher and the more restricted we are in our playstyle. So sit back, relax, and let me explain to you the nuance of the improved, tested, and very fun level one Crown Prince Combustion Grenade build. Before we get into the guide, we have to take a detour to talk about level zero crown prince, okay? If you're looking for an easy, accessible way to beat high difficulty runs on the cat, all you need to do is pick jackpot as your starting blessing, find a good fire weapon, upgrade it to level five, and then etch a Gemini on it. Then reroll it until you get the elemental share Gemini and share it with a flowing light or some other lightning damage weapon that has a high shock chance you'll be easily able to clear the highest difficulties in the game with an absolutely absurd amount of damage. This is called a tri-elemental build, and any build that can pull this off is definitely one of the strongest and most consistent builds in the game. So for us to meaningfully play a level 1 combustion grenade build, we have to avoid lightning damage at all costs. Otherwise, we just end up playing a level 0 crown prince, and we don't get to actually experience the spirit of the combustion build. So for this reason, all lightning damage should be avoided, whether from a weapon or a scroll, trust me, this build is plenty strong enough without abusing miasma, and you'll find after attempting this build a couple times that the combustion fusion is plenty strong enough to carry you by itself. The vision for this build is twofold. Number one, bulk up on key grenade ascensions, and number two, find a way to apply the burning effect to a large amount of enemies. To start the run, re-roll your starting blessing until you get smog-bound zone. This powerful blessing significantly extends the duration and AoE of Smoke Grenade. This is incredibly important because we are going to be valuing Acid Explosion very, very highly in this run. In the recent April 28th patch, Acidic Explosion got its area of effect increased from 5 meters to 7 meters, which is a significant range increase. And it was the inspiration for this build. The way that Acidic Explosion works is that it applies the total damage of a single Smoke Grenade to all enemies in seven meters. And by total damage, that means like every tick added up, right? So this total damage that it does includes uh, every tick that it does, all ascensions that boost its damage as well. So Acidic Explosion will deal uh, like 600 damage per explosion at the start of the game, because that's 150 uh, per tick times four. And with one level of Toxic Smoke, you're already in 2,400 damage because uh, we get a 300% base damage increase with one level of Toxic Smoke. And it captures the bonuses from skill damage and skill multipliers, so we can get some super high damage on these uh, Acidic Explosion procs. I say all of that to bring your attention to why we have to pick Smogbound Zone for this build. It increases the duration of Smoke Grenade by 5 seconds. That means 5 more ticks of Smoke Grenade damage get added to the Acidic Explosion calculation. So we go from 2400 damage to 4,500 AoE damage with one blessing and one ascension. You'll see how crazy this can get in the early game and upcoming gameplay footage at the uh, near the end of this video. I have included the ascension tier list for this build at the start of the video, but here it is again. We are generally prioritizing Toxic Smoke over Smoke Genius because that increases Acidic Explosion's damage more. Hex Smoke 1 is super important, and when combined with Smogbound Zone's 20% damage reduction, it makes us very tanky. It actually can be very good to pick up extra levels of backpack expansion in this build, so you can actually spam grenades uh, as you get later into the, into the game. Smoke grenades can stack with each other, and over the past six months, Cat has gotten a few buffs that allow him to be able to throw grenades faster. This has significantly improved the utility of backpack expansion over time. In my uh, tier list video, I rate it very low, and that has changed. Uh, and uh, when I update that tier list, you will see that uh, backpack expansion is much higher now. Let's move on to the next point. Applying burning is key to this build because it causes every tick of smoke grenade to trigger the combustion fusion effect. So to say that another way, smoke grenades get a 200% multiplicative damage increase against enemies who are already under the burning effect. In this level one guide, we are going to be hunting for any fire weapon that has the spread all elemental effects 
to all enemies within 8 meters inscription. Almost any fire weapon that has this inscription will work for our purposes. There is no easier way in the entire game to literally paint enemies in elemental effects than this absolutely busted weapon inscription. As an aside, you may be able to find a corrosion weapon with this inscription as well and have it work if you elemental Gemini uh, share it with a fire weapon, but I'm not 100% sure if it will spread the Gemini elemental effect or not, right? Because you're, you're Geminiing the fire damage to the weapon that has the inscription you need, I'm not exactly sure how that works mechanically. Try it out and please let me know in the comments. That would be very, very helpful. But don't use a lightning weapon as you will not be playing within the spirit of the build. This is, we don't, we're not playing level zero crown prince. Alternatively, if you can't find that inscription, and I would say that you, you probably offered one to three of those inscriptions a run, and you know, whether you get it on a fire weapon or not, you can always try for re-rolls, that kind of stuff. Alternatively, this works very well uh, as an alternative. You can just use any good explosive weapon with an elemental Gemini to a fire tower or piercing flame to effect, efficiently spread the burning elemental effect without having to spend a lot of time shooting every single enemy. The new Frenzied Shark is actually quite good at this considering its large AOE and fast firing rate. Uh, it's not as good on bosses, but really you just need to apply burning uh, to the boss. And once you've got that going, then your smoke grenade damage gets insane. Up next, we have some epic gameplay from one of my runs playing this level one combustion grenade build. The next two videos will first augment this build to have some interesting flexibility and then will be a challenge build. So sit back, relax, enjoy the music. You know the drill. Only sub if you want to see more of these. Don't sub for me, sub for you. Stay alive, gang in the back of the pack for three years. I ain't never slow. 